Have you ever wondered how math and arithmetic were taught in the late 1800s? I know how math is taught today. My kids have been in public school and we've homeschooled and we've been through a variety of curriculums. One day I came upon this book. It's called Ray's New Primary Arithmetic. It's the first of several books in this series. Joseph Ray was an early educator and created these books. So I decided I wanted to see how these books compare to other curriculum. This particular book is for ages five to seven, or if your kids are starting arithmetic a little bit later, ages seven to nine. The key is that they are able to write. Join us as we go lesson by lesson and page by page through Ray's new primary arithmetic published in 1877. My name is Janae Daniels and I'm a former middle school teacher turned homeschool mom. And welcome to the School to Homeschool YouTube channel. Let's get going. Welcome to our fake homeschool classroom. Our real homeschool classroom is actually just our kitchen table. But since we're doing lessons from the 1800s, we figured why not make it look more interesting? Not to worry, we won't be doing any corporal punishment in this class. In this series, we're gonna cover Ray's new primary arithmetic from 1877. This is an original copy. You can find online copies as well as reproductions to purchase in the links below. This is not 1877 anymore. You can choose to have your children write in a notebook or on slates. I picked these up from Walmart. You can buy them at any craft store along with some chalk. Or if you want to get extra snazzy, you can purchase an ink and quill off Amazon and have them write with that. Now let's go ahead and get into the text with notes to the teachers and lesson one. <laughs> Suggestions to teachers. In beginning the study of arithmetic, the first step for pupils is to learn to count readily. This is not mastered without much practice in counting objects. Movable objects are better for exercises in counting than pictures. Some objects of this kind should always be kept in the schoolroom, such as marbles, beans, kernels of corn, or pebbles. The second step is to combine numbers. To master the different combinations to 20, the pupils should first be taught to write the tables corresponding with those in this book, either upon their slates or upon the blackboard during the recitation. Teach one thing at a time and teach it thoroughly. So your child has to have some knowledge of writing in order to complete the series successfully. This is lesson one. This lesson is intended to suggest how to teach the child to count objects and to express their numbers by <coughs> figures. It comprises the first 10 numbers. The pupil points to each ball and says one, one, two, one, two, three, etc. Then the teacher directs him to write the figure for one, for two, etc. So let's get started. So you're gonna count one, one, two, one, two, three. Point to each number and count. One, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They will write the word and number from one to ten on their slates. I'm having my older son write in cursive. All right, kids, start the writing the words and the numbers on your slates. I'm also finished. Let's see how you did. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. I could be in Shirley and break my slate over Jacob's head. How dare you! Can you guess what we've been reading? And Shirley. And spelt with an E. Once they finished writing the numbers and the words one through ten, they were done. It took about five or six minutes. And thus concludes lesson one. Not that hard, really. Let's go on to lesson two. Note, in this lesson, the numbering of objects is extended to 40. A single column or less may constitute one exercise, as may seem best to the teacher. It's divided up into three columns, including 11 to 20, 21 to 30, 31 to 40. In this exercise, we're gonna have them count objects 11 through 40. We'll either use an abacus or marbles, and then they will write the words 
11 to 40, as well as the corresponding numbers 11 to 40. That's it. That's the whole lesson. Really, it isn't hard. It might take a little while, but it isn't hard. Count to 40. <laughs> Out of Thank you. Did I have to bribe him to do this video in our fake homeschool classroom? Yes, I did. Does he already know how to do arithmetic? Yes, he does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <coughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22. Did you know how to use an abacus? I didn't. He had to show me. 37, 38, 39, 40. Okay, now you're going to use the marbles and you're going to count to 40. Go ahead, one at a time. One, two, three, four, 15, 17. I bribed both of them. 37, 38, 39, 40. You're gonna write the words 11 to 40 on your slates, and you're also gonna write the numbers. It took them about 10 minutes to write 11 through 40, both the words and the corresponding numbers. And thus concludes lesson two. We will see you in lessons three and four of Ray's new primary arithmetic.